Hi guys, this is Nassim here. In this video, I'll be going over the fundamentals of Ramones so that you can enjoy Ramones as much as I do. I want to first go over the benefits of playing Ramones. Ramones is a good place to obtain black pearls. A Ramones season starts on the first of every month and ends at the last day of that month. When the season ends, you will be given black pearls depending on your rank. As you can see here, if you just play Ramones once, you can get 100 black pearls for free. Even if you lose, you still get points, so try to play more than just once to obtain more black pearls. There are also daily rewards. As you can see here, you can get these rewards every day up to 400 points. These boxes contain 70 boss stamps, so if you are free to play, this is a decent source to obtain boss stamps. The last type of reward is the Ramones Season Challenge Rewards. If you earn 9,100 points before the season ends, you can get all these rewards. If you get your daily rewards every day, you will be able to get all these rewards. Alright, now let's jump into the rules of Ramones. I will try to explain everything with footages to help you understand better. I will go over the general rules first, then talk about some strategies for both maps. So a match is 3 minutes and 30 seconds long. The winning team is the team with more battle points at the end of the match. Battle points are earned by killing your opponents or by getting objectives. When you kill your opponent, you steal 35% of their points. So if you kill an enemy with 10 points, his score will become 7 and you will have 13 points. However, going for the objectives is much more important in Ramones. I will go over the first type of objective, which are orbs. When you destroy an orb, you gain 3% of the total battle points and you gain a special effect. There are 5 different types of orbs. The first orb is the healing orb. This orb heals 15% of your max health. This is the most commonly spawned orb and try to get it even if you are at full health. This way, you can prevent your opponent from healing up and you can earn points as well. The second orb is the amplification orb. If you destroy this orb, you will gain a lot of CP and movement speed. The third orb is the freezing orb. When you destroy the freezing orb, all your opponents become frozen. There is a way to counter this, but I will talk about this when I talk about the minimap. The fourth orb is the lightning orb. And this is the most important orb if you are a low CP player. This transforms you into a lightning sphere that deals a lot of damage to your opponents. This damage is not related to your CP, so this is your chance to kill your high CP opponents. You are also invincible when you are a lightning sphere. You can also cancel the lightning orb by pressing this button. The last orb is the salvation orb. This is the opposite of the lightning orb. Instead of dealing damage, you can heal your teammates. Just like the lightning orb, you are also invincible. The salvation orb cannot be cancelled. Now that we know how the orbs work, let's move on to what Lagos is. Lagos is a boss that appears at the 1 minute and 50 second mark. Last hitting Lagos gives you a lot of points, it transforms you into a lightning sphere, gives your team 
a CP and movement speed buff. And it slows down the movement speed of your opponents. I hope this explains the importance of defeating Lagos. I will go into more details when I go over some matches that I've done. There are two more objectives that I need to go over before moving on to strategies. The first one is the Monument of Battle. When the match begins, there will be one monument in the middle of the map. You can destroy this to gain battle points and movement speed for 30 seconds. On the Temple Raiders map, which is the old map, there will be two more monuments that spawn throughout the match. The next objective only exists in the Keeper of the Relics map, which is the new map. Each team has a Ballista, which attacks enemies that are nearby. If you destroy the Ballista, you will gain 300 points from it. Now that we understand all the objectives, let's see how we can win matches. The absolute most important tip is to keep your eyes here and here. Not here, here. This minimap and status log gives you a lot more information than your character screen. The two important information this map gives us is the location of the orbs and the location of your enemies. The important information the status log gives us is which player got which orb. On the minimap, you can also check the type of the orb. So if there is a more important orb, you can run to it even if it's farther away. The importance of orbs might be different for everyone, but I prefer lightning, salvation, amplification, freeze, then heal. Some people may think amplification is better, but personally, amplification only affects me while salvation can help all my teammates. So I value salvation more. I mentioned that I will tell you a way to counter the freeze orb. If you have your eye on the minimap, you can see your opponent run towards the freeze orb. When it's about time, you can use a few evasions and super armor skills to avoid this freeze. The status log also gives you important information. When you see an opponent go for the amplification orb, you know that your opponent got it, but you don't know which player got it. But if you look at the status log, you can see the player's name, so you know you shouldn't fight that person for a while. Another good piece of information to collect is when your teammate and the opponent both go for the lightning orb or salvation orb. You can check who got it by looking at this log. If your teammate got it, you should go towards your teammate, but if your opponent got it, you can run away. Always keep your eyes on this map and check the information on this log whenever you need to. Knowing where your opponents are is also valuable information. Killing your opponent becomes more and more important as the match progresses. This is because Everyone will have more points and stealing 35% of their score will steal a lot more points compared to the beginning of the match. If you look at the minimap, the icons with the crowns are the players with the highest scores. If there are no objectives on the map, try to chase the crown to steal his or her points. A good tip to note here is that when someone goes into a bush, they become invisible. 
they cannot be found even on the minimap. This is why it is important to have your eyes on the minimap. This way, you will know where to find your opponents if they are hiding in bushes. The next important thing is to decide on if you want to go for Lagos or not. In general, if you are losing, Lagos is a good comeback source. So if you are losing, try to force a Lagos fight and go for the comeback. If you are winning, try not to help the losing team kill Lagos quicker. For example, if there is only 15 seconds left, 16 HP bars, just let the losing team hit Lagos by themselves. They won't be able to kill it before the match is over. Also, if you are winning and you kill all your enemies, you can try to burst Lagos and kill it before your opponents revive. This way, you leave no room for a comeback. These are the general rules that apply for both maps. I want to go over one more strategy that will only be applied in the new map, Keeper of the Relics. This only applies to the new map because this map has a Ballista. The Ballista gives you 300 points. Can you guess why it's not good to destroy the Ballista at the start of the game? If you have been paying attention, you will remember that you can steal 35% points of the enemy you killed. If you have 300 points at the start, your opponent will have enough time to steal points from you. What I recommend doing is to lower the HP of the Ballista so that you can destroy it at any time. Don't go near it until the match is almost over. Destroy the Ballista before the match is over to obtain 300 points at the end. I hope I gave enough information for you guys to enjoy Ramonis. Just remember that I can give you the fundamentals, but your best teacher is experience. The more you play, the better you will become. All right, peace. I need to know if you'll give me a second chance. They don't come on often, but please, you know I can't stand it. When you don't talk to me